What's up everybody? Bachata Knight here with another great product review and today we are reviewing a sword that you can get from Cult of Athena. It is a display sword for $50. A flamberge. If you know about history, this is used by the Lance Connect. It came with this nice little guard for the tip because it does have a, a sharp tip. As you can see the flame blade, nice curvy blade that is a feature of many of these medieval German long swords, often used by the Lands Connects, a group of mercenaries who are some of the best around. Now, we're going to do some comparisons real quick to show you just about how big this is. It is listed as a two-handed sword, which it is, and as you can see, it is comparable to practically the length of your typical long sword, your typical two-handed long sword. It is not as long as uh, your typical sword that you might find in paintings and drawings like these very large great swords as you can see it only comes up to about here so if you're expecting a very long sword the kind that you typically see in uh, paintings and stuff where they might be resting it on their shoulder um, just keep in mind it is not this long with that being said though this is a fantastic deal right now called of athena.com it is fifty dollars and I will tell you a little bit about it, what I've noticed. So the blade, of course, is, is, is not sharp. It's probably within like a millimeter. It's a little bit thicker down here, uh, probably over two millimeters. Of course, your pairing hooks are rounded. It does have a like a faux leather grip for half sorting, right? The guard, as you can see, the rings, they're not as big as I thought they would be. Um, but, however, it is a replicable of uh, historic anatomy of one of these swords, just a little bit smaller, a little more crude design, but it does have a, as you can see, ring guard that does protrude out here on the cross guard. Another thing I'd like to say is that this is unknown. Even on their website, it doesn't really say where it's made. It doesn't list a manufacturer. It says Pakistan. I don't know if you see Pakistan. Now, I've ordered um, some Balde swords from Call of Athena and the belly dancing swords. Uh, the Balde swords logo that says Pakistan is actually larger than this. It does come with this scabbard. As you can see, it says Right Edge. However, just searching Right Edge and trying to find out about this company online with this actual sword, I was not able to find the two, the logo, the company name, and that sword together, so I'm not sure if that's who makes it, but we'll talk about this scabbard here in a little bit. This is uh, fake. So, like, this is listed as a display sword. And, and if you notice, when I was sort of moving around earlier, it, it sort of spins, see? The grip. See what I mean? But um, for the looks, it looks pretty real. Oh, game off. game on all right it looks pretty real it's like a, a fake kind of leather handle this is a metal down here though um, if you can see sort of here it is a, a hollow sort of plastic handle with this um, stitched kind of faux leather covering it doesn't really have much flex you know but for what I paid I'm very happy with it uh, I did have this more for like a cosplay kind of thing. If it was a lot longer, I'd probably use it for my Lance Connect outfit. Um, I currently typically am using my, my great sword for that. I mean, that's really not a cosplay sword. That's for Armored Combat League. But this is a very nice sword. It's not fluted or anything, but uh, as you can see, there's like not much wobble. Very shiny. Only a couple blemishes, and I have not really had this off the wall at all you can see there's a little bit of a blunt share in the guard um, otherwise if you can see the blade here in the sun and it didn't even really come um, with any kind of polish or oil on it and it had a very nice shine only one little um, ding there in the handle which it came with but maybe it'll make it look like you actually used it for something when someone asks about the sword hanging on your wall display sword could you use it for any kind of function? I mean, I guess. 
it, but but you have to keep in mind that you're going to have a, a, a tendency for this grip to, well, I don't know. There you go. See, I've been swinging around. <laughs> That's where the grip lines up. So, swing this at anything? No. Hang up on your wall. It's going to look excellent. I'm looking down the blade. It just barely has a slight hook to it. For $50, a display sword, it actually comes with a pretty nice scabbard. And I showed you this before, but this is how it's going to go into it. And, uh, I mean, you really don't get a deal like this too much. You can actually close this right here. It goes and clips above or below, whichever way you're looking at these parry hooks. And if you wanted to wear it for cosplay or, if, I mean, whatever, if you just wanted to take your sword out, whoop, if you wanted to take it out and walk around, there you go. You don't get a deal like this where you actually get a scabbard with a sword uh, display or not for 50 bucks. For what I paid for this, I can't say really a single bad thing about it. The, the hilt, I mean, you can straighten it out just like that. It's gonna hang on your wall. It's got a sharp tip, you know, so for a layman person just coming into your house asking about a sword, it's, it's pretty, pretty real looking. Um, these aren't sharp. Actually, I don't know if, in history if these parry hooks were sharpened if you know please comment below if you have an answer for that while you're leaving a comment don't forget to like the video and subscribe or you might catch the flamberge just kidding everybody all right well hope you enjoyed the video and this review any other questions about it please leave a comment below stay tuned for more product reviews on this channel and fighting action as always everybody thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video